my dear friends today our topic is to discuss about the oscillators oscillator are the devices you know electronic devices okay which produces a periodic signal periodic signal means the signal which repeats after the equal interval of time and with the constant frequency phase and the amplitude in other words we can see that the oscillator the devices they convert dc power to the ac power I mean they use dc power and the electronic devices they produce the ac signals like uh, the signal is as shown here this is a sinusoidal signal having some amplitude from here to here and uh, you know the zero level is at the mid that mean vertical shift is zero amplitude is from here to here is one unit because the starting origin of the wave is the at the origin of the this uh, system this scale system that mean it is phase shift equals to zero wave length is you know like from crest to crest and uh, in case like here the wave started the starting point of the wave is at this point some part of the wave is from here to here you know that means there is some shift there is some phase shift that is 0.5 unit and because the zero level is shown here the wave is above the zero level there is a vertical shift also but the amplitude is the same that from here to here that's two units okay that mean oscillator produces this type of wave they they produces this, this type of waves uh, of some frequency you know now the classification feedback oscillator you know in case of the feedback oscillator they satisfy bakusen criteria and a phase shift from uh, 0 to 360 degree like here the amplifier there's an input signal is coming and input signal when get through the amplifier it is you know the amplifier signal but uh, there is a phase reversal of uh, 180 degree a fraction of the output signal is taken back how much fraction it depends upon the feedback network let beta is a fraction and output signal is taken back and the feedback signal becomes beta times v not and our feedback network is such it also alters the phase by 180 degree so amplifier alters 180 feedback network alters 180 total becomes 360 and when total becomes 360 feedback signal comes in phase with the input signal so that mean feedback signal get add, add it up it it sum up it it is in addition it is in favor of the input signal now then we have negative resistance oscillators you know there are some devices they exhibit this type of uh, voltage current relation now this this uh, you know this curve is very important where the voltage is increasing and current is decreasing that's against the ohms law you know ohms law tells us about v and i are proportional but the here v is increasing but i is decreasing so this is called the negative resistance part okay this is the negative resistance from here to here and these are a type of oscillator have negative slope region the current voltage characteristics so they are called the oscillator the electronic devices they use this this type of curve this type of uh, features okay then uh, those oscillators are named as negative resistance oscillator now for the feedback oscillator classifies as lc oscillators lc oscillators mean like here is a coil and a capacitor they are in parallel and uh, when it is used sometimes is called the tank circuit okay so these circuits contain the combination of capacitor and inductor and this also called the tuned uh, collector uh, you know oscillator are called tuned collector oscillator hart and colpis oscillator they all use lc combination okay rc oscillator 
in this type of oscillator certain combination of C and R are used. So this oscillator used the combination of resistance capacity like this shown here C1 R1 C2 R3 C1 R2 C2 R3 and like that. The combination of C and R then they're called RC oscillators and one of the example is this one. Okay, and the phase shift oscillator are the example of RC oscillators. The oscillator may be sinusoidal and they may be non-sinusoidal. Non-sinusoidal means like the square wave, that's non-sinusoidal. Non -sinusoidal. sinusoidal oscillator, they produces the, exactly the like sine waves. Sinusoidal oscillators like sine wave of any desired frequency any frequency which you want okay now type of the sinusoidal oscillators damned oscillations damned oscillations uh, here the oscillation which is shown are damned like the decreasing amplitude okay oscillations amplitude goes in decreasing they are called the damned oscillations and uh, how the damped oscillations are related with the oscillator we, I'll, I'll tell you I'll explain it just now just uh, just wait and have the oscillation having constant amplitude and any desired frequency amplitude remain constant and uh, oscillation are generated uh, you know in case of electrical system oscillation are generated but having the losses uh, has the losses and some energy is lost then the oscillation becomes damped for no means to provide the we have to compensate the loss if we compensate the loss then the oscillator they produce you know undamped oscillation if there are losses then the oscillator will they put they will produce the damped oscillations if there are losses if we compensate the losses then the oscillation will be undamped so the requirement is the undamped oscillations all the electrical systems oscillation are being generated has also the losses but now right amount of energy being being supplied to overcome the loss i mean we have to uh, we have to supply the energy so to overcome the losses so as to oscillations becomes undamped and you know the principle of oscillations actually you know there is a tank circuit lc circuit they produces the oscillation and uh, tunes you can say tune circuit also lc circuits and the frequency you can have any frequency by changing the value of l or c like the here the tune circuit has shown so in order to understand the working of the tank circuit so how we understand the tank circuit this, this working is so let's see now this is the inductor and there is a capacitor. Let the capacitor is charged by some external means. So when we charge the capacitor by external means, let the, this plate get positive charge, this plate gets negative charge. And uh, this capacitor is then connected with the inductor by a switch. Now the source of, uh, uh, you know, uh, the charging source is removed and uh, then this switch is, uh, we make the switch closed, we make it closed, we make it closed, so what happened? The capacitor will discharge itself to the coil. When the capacitor will discharge itself to the coil, a conventional current will flow along this direction. Conventional current will flow along this direction, okay, like this. The conventional current will flow along this direction. Or you can say electronic current will flow along this direction. So what happened? Uh, as the capacitor discharge itself to the coil, then the charge on the capacitor go on decreasing. And what happens? The magnetic field build up across the coil. So electrostatic energy of the capacitor reduces and the magnetic energy of the coil cone increasing now it increases so what happens just uh, just after a short while there will be no charge on the capacitor the total energy becomes magnetic 
when the total energy becomes magnetic and there's no charge here to, and the circuit is broken like that here, the magnetic uh, field collapses. Then when the magnetic field collapses, the induced EMF is produced. When the induced EMF is produced, there's a property of the induced EMF that it opposes the very cause which produces it. So now the magnetic energy starts decreasing and the capacitor starts charging up, but with opposite polarity. Now here, negative charge, now negative charge comes, here negative charge gone increasing, here positive charge gone increasing. Like that is the charging of the capacitor now. So magnetic energy totally disappear, total energy becomes electrostatic. But from first case, now in third case, the upper plate is negative, lower plate is positive. Now again, the same happens, a conventional current flows from here to here in this direction, that the electrostatic energy gone decreasing again, and magnetic energy again builds up. But you notice, now as the lines there, the up, up lines, now the lines are the down. Magnetic field, it is in opposite direction to the second case. And when there is no charge on the capacitor, magnetic field again collapses. Again, induced EMF is produced. And induced EMF opposes the very cause which produces it. And it again charges the capacitor in opposite sense. This, repeat, this process repeats on. And uh, like that, what is the result? Positive, negative, negative, positive, again positive, negative, again negative, positive. So oscillation builds up. But because of some resistance of the tune circuit, the, the, the charge, like here, if the charge is 100 unit, here it is opposite polarity. But if it is 100 unit, here will be 80 unit, then 60 unit, then 40 unit. So ultimately the oscillations dies. So this is all charging. Okay, this is written here just to you can now uh, read here the whatever I explained to you, the how the explanation is, uh, how the oscillations they built up. Okay. So this is a lens rule. So oscillation build up. Now we are coming to the Bach Sanket area. Now what it is? Uh, it is this is a feedback circuit. Input voltage, output is uh, you know here 180 degree phase reversal. Beta network it decides. Then beta V naught. It also produces 180 degree phase shift. Then this signal comes in phase with the input signal. Now what is a feedback signal? Feedback signal here, that is called VF. VF is what? Beta times V naught. Beta is a fraction, V naught. Okay. Now feedback signal becomes the input signal. When there is no input signal, then feedback signal becomes the input signal and it is beta times V naught. Okay. Or we can see now here what is V i? Now what is V naught? Let here if it is V i signal, V i signal. Okay. Amplifier gain is A. V A signal amplifier gain is A. Output signal will be A times A times V I. Output signal A times V I. Okay. So output signal V not A times V I. So V I signal if there now that there is no input, V I signal becomes V naught is, you know, already I explained A times V I. So V I is again equals to A beta V I. So this term is taken on the, this term is taken on the left hand side. V I is taken as common. V I is not equals to zero. The only possibility is when this is equals to zero, it implies 
or we can say a beta equals to 1. So if a beta is equals to 1, then a beta is equals to 2 and pi, where n equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, so on. So this is the criteria. a beta more should be equals to 1. Then if it happens, then with no input signal, there will be output signal and that will keep on oscillating okay of some with some frequency without any input signal there is an output signal the mathematical condition bach hussein criteria it is necessary to maintain the sustained oscillation in the circuit so feedback uh, is, is that a beta in magnitude should be equals to one so if a beta is greater than one it is good to start the oscillation but just soon after a beta should be equals to 1 for the sustained oscillation. To produce oscillation, it should be greater than 1. For sustained oscillation, it should be equals to 1. If a beta is less than 1, then no. Then it's unable to start the oscillation. This is not the required condition. We should have this or a beta in magnitude then equals to 1. So this is the tune circuit. It is uh, uh, connected to the amplifier because there are losses. They produce oscillation, but there are losses. So we provide a feedback circuit. Feedback gives a required energy to the tune circuit and to make the sustained oscillations. Okay. All right. This is uh, the different parts tune circuit, amplifier, amplifier gives 180 degree phase shift, feedback circuit also gives 180 phase shift, total becomes 360 in phase, right, now turn types of the transistor oscillators, types of transistor oscillators, So there are tuned collector oscillator, Hartley oscillator, cold piece oscillator, phase shift oscillator, vein bridge oscillator. There are different types of oscillator. Some are using tuned circuit, some are using RC circuit, okay, some are using negative resistance part of VI characteristics like that. Tuned collector oscillator, we are coming. The first oscillator, which is the tuned collector oscillator. Hello my dear friends, please subscribe my channel and do not forget to click on a bell icon to get the notifications about my new work. Thank you very much.